guys, so we are in Seattle for Lauren's surgery. It actually happens in an hour. <laughs> yep. It's a ligurostomy surgery. If you haven't, if you don't know what we're talking about, or you know, it will be right here. Just go back to that video. And yeah. You can know our. You can get fresh enough on like, why we're in Seattle and what the surgery entails. Um, so we've been here three days now. Um, it was fun getting here. We had to jump through some hoops. We uh, ended up doing a. Med flight, ambulance flight. Yeah, air ambulance flight. Um, yeah, it took only two hours. Yeah, it was so it was nice. really decent. Um, we were supposed to take a train originally, but given Lauren's condition, like that just wasn't possible. And then we finally got all the right people to say yes to um, an air ambulance flight, and we got him here. Yeah. Um, and we've just kind of been chilling since we got here yesterday. Lauren went down for a nephrostogram. Yeah. And it was, it was basically just a scan uh, to see where exactly my characters are inside the body and see how much linkage is in. So in this video that you'll be like watching is uh, the nephrostomy. Yeah, it's the x-ray results from the nephrostomy. Yeah, and it's uh, just the doctor that will be pr yeah. producing, performing, the performing the procedure that uh, is explaining the scans yeah. to tubes here and what we've got from the information from this is that the, both your other tubes go all the way down to the bottom here so here's where your bottom of your incision is mm -hmm. that's the end of your ureter right there and when they fill the other side it looks almost the same because it comes down all the way down here and they're really close right here which is good now if you think about it your colostomy site is going to be right up here and you can see your bowel so if we superimpose this actually on top of your CT scan, put them side by side. You can see these little clips right down here. That's right here. Your colostomy is right here, but your piece of bowel that we want to take is right here. So ideally, we can put these two tubes right in here. Mm -hmm. Those are your tubes that drain the kidney. We can just take a little loop of bowel and connect them right there and just bring that out right probably below your colostomy. I don't know if you have very much room over here because oh, your so liver is right here. So we're going to go right below my colostomy. We'll put them wherever we can where it will fit your appliance side by side. Mm -hmm. Or if we can fit it down here, we'll do it. The problem over here is I think there's there's not much space there to fit his livers right there. Okay. Um, and so we'll put it wherever it'll fit, but you can see we can borrow the little, the small intestine will come into the large intestine right in here. We can borrow that. Now you can see that in some of these other pictures pretty clearly. Um, but pretty much the nephrostogram showed that Lauren does have enough length for the it's surgeon. Enough. Yeah, for the surgeon to do Always. what he had originally planned to do, um, which if you go back to that um, older video we have with him, you'll kind of understand this explanation a little bit better. Um, and then for the surgery, um, they're, they have a really great pain management team yeah. here. They've like, been talking. They've been estimating it's like a five and a half, six hour surgery. Yep, and the pain management um, has been talking uh, because we kind of filled them in on Lauren's pain and how, you know, we've been trying to advocate for a nerve block and stuff like that. Um, and they're going to do a epidural yeah. stint thing. Yeah. that's temporary for a couple of days to see if that helps and if that helps hopefully that means that they can put a referral in for a more permanent nerve block nerve stimulator deal for his pain so that's really exciting as well um that's pretty much where we're at right now yeah and then like we like said one more hour until the surgery happens but, uh, it's coming up six hour surgery wish me well and uh yeah and Let's he's gonna be rid of these lines when he's back. Well, actually, they'll take those out in a couple of days. It's a process, but by the time we go home. Yep. All right, guys, well, Lauren is going into surgery here really soon. Yep. So, yeah, so we'll update you guys how it went. Yep. Um, Lauren will be nice and doped up. No. I'll get hit all on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Same funny things and whatnot. But uh, yeah, 
Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to come back for the second part and yes. tell if I came out of surgery or not. He'll come out of surgery. We'll see you guys. We'll see you later. Well, yeah, I don't doubt it at all. Yeah, just in case, famous last words. Huh? Famous last words. Just in case. You got anything? Oh, you got it. it's like on my YouTube. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, that we have some money to live off of. All right, baby, I love you. See you. Yeah. Peace out, YouTube. Um, I love you. Love you, baby. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you guys, and you. we'll be back, okay? See ya. Love you, baby. I love you. I'll see you when you get out. Okay. Many unbearable hours later. Hey, guys. How's it going? We're, uh, we're out of surgery. Or, I'm out of surgery. Not where. <laughs> you didn't go through anything. No, just a PTSD. <laughs> but, um... It was like a six hour surgery? Roughly six hours, yep. It was estimated to take anywhere from like three to five hours. Um, took a little bit longer, but not did any complications. Just one of his ureters was kind of buried in there. Um, but yeah, there were no complications, nothing to worry about. Uh, he got out two days ago. Um, yeah, the doctor said he had to pee. I ended up taking like two hours just to find my left nephrostomy too because there was just, they, put like my liver and a bunch of stuff, a bunch of nerves and stuff right on top of it. So you had to dig through a lot yeah. and find it. But yeah, uh, everything went smoothly. There wasn't any complications that happened. Lauren's feeling like a million bucks right now. Yep. I was, I was pretty much, I was wait pretty much right out of the gate, like right out of surgery. Like they didn't even have a chance to really pump the epidural into me too much. I, 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 so I have an epidural on my back right now, helping with the pain. So that's why I'm feeling like a million bucks. My pain's pretty much been... Eradicated for the time eradicated being. Eradicated for the time being, yeah. But, um, no, I pretty much woke up right away. And, uh, that was pretty painful <laughs> since I didn't have the epidural in again. But, um, no, not, other than that, I'm doing great. But uh, they're actually gonna help me and uh, work on my uh, pain regimen that I had that I have back home. So just kind of do we're, they're gonna set us up with a pain management team here in Washington, mm -hmm. pretty much before we leave, and they're gonna try and um, see if they can find some alternate. Um, solutions to his pain problems we've been having instead of you know crazy cocktails um so that's really cool that they're doing that and um hopefully with this catheter this epidural catheter working so well for him uh maybe we can get a referral in for some type of more permanent like nerve block nerve stimulator situation so that would be really cool too but that's kind of what we're moving towards and we'll keep you guys updated we'll have to we'll really have to see how my pain feels after they take the epidural out either yeah. tomorrow or the next day yeah but uh but this is the ileostomy um it's it's a little suction down right now because i have the knife and egg on but it surgery went well it you see a little red thing in there because they have to put like a cap a catheterized tube in it to keep the pathway yeah, and that'll be pulled out um, eventually. I think it's a couple of week or two after surgery. Yeah, they just gotta um, make my body you know yeah. like that's the route. And then these will be taken out too as soon as his body. Tomorrow they're getting clamped off, and then in a couple of days they'll get taken out. So. So everything's moving smoothly. I'm moving along quick. So. Yeah. So we'll see you guys next week, and we'll keep you updated. Thank you guys so much.